Hi everybody, welcome to Can We Just Talk, a series where we are debunking the idea that it's uncomfortable to talk about money. I'm Shara Lai Lim, the features writer at Her World, and with me is Shara Chan, our digital editor, as well as Chelsea Tan, our associate editor. Sorry. It can be a cultural norm for working adults to give their parents a portion of their salary every month, but this is typically seen as a way to show gratitude or to show respect to your parents or caretaker for all the years and the money that they spend raising you. Um, where you guys fall on this debate, do you believe in the obligation to give your parents money every month? I know some like give, some don't give. I personally give money because like it was instilled within me from birth, right? That this was something that was going to happen already. That the moment you start working, you have to give. So when the time came to give and my first salary was very, very sad, I begrudgingly gave. Like, I think it was, like, it started very low, like maybe about like 150. But at that point, I was only earning like 1.6. So that's so, a lot. <laughs> that was a lot of money to me. Mm. And I just kind of like kept increasing it over the years. And I think after a few years of giving money, I feel like it did instill some sense of maybe responsibility in me as well. That like, um, I guess it made me feel also a bit more like adult in a way. And I was kind of like giving back to my mom in that sense. And I was also really, really bad at saving money. so she always kind of made it seem like well at least this money was going to be saved somehow as opposed to me just spending it away for me it's really like what's your love language lah mm -hmm. right like yeah. if your love language is giving your parents money then yeah you know there's no right or wrong i feel their love language is receiving money you know <laughs> i mean definitely my true. parents love language is receiving money la. when i started working um as a marketing person. That was my first job. I was only earning $1,008 um, and I was giving uh, $300 a month to my parents and that's on top of um, insurance that I had to pay myself and my other bills. So like at the end of the day, you know, I only had like about $1,000 left <laughs> myself. <laughs> I mean, it was a bit of a financial burden. It was also instilled in me that when I went out to work, I should be giving them money. Mm -hmm. la. Yeah, but I didn't feel resentful surprisingly but i'm not very great with my money so <laughs> <laughs> to me like um it's an important topic yes mm. but um i think when you talk about the value of money like i don't see the value of money as being like dollars and cents mm. if you get what i mean i think the resentment came from maybe comparing myself to my other friends because maybe some of them were still in uni or the parents didn't really instill that in them yet. So then it makes you feel like, well, oh, how come they don't have to give, then I have to give. Mm. But then later on, eventually I realized, actually, even though this became like a financial responsibility, but then I realized I'm not paying rent. I'm not paying any of the bills in the house. I'm not contributing to the household income at all. And it's also kind of unfair, right? If my mother still pays for me, even though I'm working already. So mm. eventually how I managed to kind of like, I guess, retrain my thoughts was that actually this isn't really an allowance for her it's actually me paying for the fees that i'm incurring for living at mm. home yeah yeah like paying for the household expenses in a way also. yeah oh wow well, suddenly i self-reflect <laughs> <laughs> so what percentage do you feel like it's enough can i carry at first to a chinese parent it's never enough <laughs> Nothing you give will ever very be true, enough, okay? I don't know. True, they tie, sometimes I feel they tie this weird response, like um, connection to like, you are considered as filial as the amount you give. Mm -hmm. So that is also a boundary that has to be in place that sometimes mm -hmm. you gotta just sit down with your parents and be like, this doesn't mean I love you less if I'm giving you less. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's so true. what I did last time was because I was really bad with saving with money, um, every time I got a pay increase, I would add that to the allowance that I was giving because basically what I my thought process was I was already surviving with whatever amount I got before so maybe it's better for her to save this cash or at least put it to better use rather than me spending it away so it just kept increasing increasing to a point where like the highest it ever got was um, I think I paid a, I was given about 700 a month when my salary was 4-5 before CPF okay yeah wow that's pretty yeah so I felt like that was the nicest my mom was ever to me and I was the favourite amongst like all four, like all, I have, I have three siblings. So mm. all four of us, she was the nicest to me then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But after I moved out and then rent became a huge expense, mm. I had to cut that down 
by a lot. Okay. Yeah. So right now I give her about 300. She is not happy about it, but she has just learned to deal with it. Sorry, Mother Chan. I know she's still upset, but Shall yeah, I, I still love you. It's not about the money. It's not about the money. I think it it, it boils down to what you can afford to give, mm. right? For me, like I mean, even though my parents expect me to give like a certain amount of my salary to them um, as part of household expenses, like they say that it's rent. <laughs> they've been they've been dying for me to move out of the house, but you know, they say obviously. Only, uh, like, the moment you move out, they, they will be unhappy. You know? like my my mom was like, actually, you're gonna you're turning thirty five and you're gonna be thirty six next year. So have you applied for? Have you started looking? Oh, really? So <laughs> so yes, yeah, they can't wait Hinting. for me to move mm. out. But I'm still not moving out because I'm one of those people who like to <laughs> mooch on my off my parents. But um, I mean, to their credit, um. There are times when you know I was retrenched and I couldn't afford to give them a fixed amount every month because I wasn't getting a fixed income as a freelancer. Mm -hmm. They did not say anything, um, and you know, like I think there's a lot of give or take between them mm -hmm. uh, and us and me. And currently, because my dad is retiring this year, uh, I'm contributing a lot more lah to 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 the food and everything. So. Um, it's really a give and take lah. But my, my mom would also say like, you know, when I went out to work, uh, I used to give your grandfather like my paycheck yes. and all that. Yeah, but then you have to think like, um, your parents grew up believing in these values. So it is, for me like, my if I have children, of course I don't expect to give uh, them to give me money, but I don't think it's right for me to like readjust what my the values that my parents were brought up with. Mm. Yeah. But if you move out, will they then still expect you to give? Mm. Of course la. I mean at the end of the day, um, your relationship is not a transaction. Mm. So I think that people who raise have children mm. and think that that is their retirement nest egg. They need to yeah. reevaluate their life. The children that, are not your retirement assets. Yes. Yeah. So can I add, right? mm. It depends on the situation. Everybody's situation is unique. I'm mm. single, I have no commitments. Mm. But there are people with families, right? And if you're asking your parents to provide a service, like taking care of your kids, taking care of your dogs, mm. taking care of your husband, mm. then you need you jolly well give them money. Yeah, la. They won't, maybe they yeah, won't yeah, say yeah. you need to pay them, but you know they were not happy on. Right? Mm. Yeah. I mean for my for my situation, I'm also single mm. and I'm not living at home anymore. Mm. So the biggest financial burden I have is only my rent to pay. Mm -hmm. So and depending depending on my different situations where like if my rent is more expensive or if I mm. lost my job, I've altered the amount that I gave my mom mm. like over the years. Mm. Yeah. And my mom is also financially savvy enough that she doesn't depend on this money from me to pay for things. Mm. It's mm. just more of a principal thing okay. for her. Going back to our What Women Want survey, right? So, I think um, interestingly, about 46% of our survey respondents indicated that they would like to cut down on their expenses, and 38% indicated maybe. So, this is like more than half. But when it came to the key reasons cited as factors deterring cuts in the expenses, family commitments was one of the key reasons. Do you think, and I think we touched on this a little bit earlier, but I would like to expand on this topic. Do you think this commitment creates a cycle of resentment amongst you and your family? Um, do you think this would uh, negatively impact the relationship with your parents? For me, like I think she she doesn't specifically say like you need to give me an X amount of money. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are very reasonable in their request, but. I feel so it like changes every month? no, it's it's a fixed thing la. I, They will say like, okay, we need this X amount in order to sustain mm -hmm. the, the the household. And for my mom, like for my is parents, is it a negotiation like, or? Uh, oh, is it? A yeah, oh. it's a it's it's not a negotiation. It's a heads up. <laughs> <laughs> but I I feel like I could have been better with my money as well. Um, in my 20s, I mean, I wasn't great with money and it was only when, after I was retrenched that I actually was very uh, careful with how much I spend. Um, and I think that, um, so your question about whether what I would, what I would, what I feel resentful mm -hmm. about. No, I think, I think there are ways to, 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 to work around it now. You just spend within your means and, mm -hmm. you know, work out a budget of what you can afford. Like, I mean, if I can't afford a condo, I can't afford a condo. La. Like, even if I give my parents like 
like twenty percent of my salary, I'm never gonna afford a condo, right? Mm. Unless I get a higher pay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it's really a personal responsibility. Mm. I think I shared with you. Early on, mm-hmm. I felt resentful, right? Yeah, Especially yeah. when I was earning less. And again, the resentment came more from comparison of my peers. Mm-hmm. Like, how come she doesn't have to give and I have to give? Mm-hmm. And late, then, as I grew older, I just realized that this isn't really an allowance. It's really more like I'm paying for my expenses for living at home, which I think is only fair, lah, mm-hmm. because. Cannot be like I'm like 25 and then my mother pay for my food, my mother pay for my bills, everything. Then the only money that I make, I only go and spend it on only things I want. I feel that I can understand why she would get upset with me if I continued thinking that that was okay. And I felt like that also gave me some responsibility in, like, you know, in how I should contribute mm-hmm. to the house and and at least just cover. Myself. What are some alternative ways then to show respect and gratitude to your parents, other than giving them money? Like I don't know, man. Like just be a decent child. child <laughs> you know, yeah. like if I wasn't living at home, so I guess I would go. I would try to go home for dinner and everything. Not because I wanted a free dinner, but to just spend time mm-hmm. with the family. For me. Other ways is you know I'm I'm still living with them so obviously you got to give and take. Um, um, I mean privacy would be also something that you have to give and take with your parents mm-hmm. uh, Sometimes I don't I come back from work and I don't feel like talking to anybody. Mm-hmm. But then you know parents being parents they got like million questions yeah. yeah and sometimes they like to have their own monologues you know and I can't you know watch. Watch watch my my TV shows, but I'll just be like, okay, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, um, I mean, it sounds a bit patronizing. That mm. I guess making them feel seen or heard. Mm, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Making them feel heard. Uh, and yeah, that's very important. So thank you both so much for joining me here today and for speaking about this very controversial mm-hmm. topic. <laughs> we covered a lot. So if you like this topic, keep a lookout for our other episodes that we have. And we will see you very soon. <laughs> Follow us on all our socials, TikTok, Instagram. And if you have anything you would like us to discuss about, please let us know as well. Bye. 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 <laughs>